eight seconds left in the game. I'm just going to play both of the, the systems here at the same time, and you can see the experience of it. So I started on the netbook, and I started over here on the notebook. And you can see just the, uh, over here you see Ray Allen take that three-point shot, and you just totally missed it over here. So you have a much better experience. And if you go, go full screen on this, it's kind of hard to see in that window. You can see that this is just a full, rich experience, and you, this is something that people are going to expect. Um, well, hey, we can fix that, uh, you know, video thing if we slap, slap a graphics chip in it. No. Uh, yes, if you put a graphics chip in it, you'll increase the power consumption on the thermal envelope, but you won't do anything at all on that video. Okay. So, so, uh, so I, I believe what you'll find is that what he wanted to represent on the left was, was something that didn't burn a lot of power, and what he wanted to represent on the right was something that burned a lot of power. So let's go off and see what we can do now with a Tegra-based platform, which has a GPU integrated in, obviously, on HD video. does an awful lot for HD video. That appears to be the best video you saw of the three that we showed. So, um, and again, that was done on one of our partner systems, and it was done in well under a watt, right? Probably a 12 or 14 megabit stream. So what we've got here is this is, uh, this is the user interface that people will see when they get one of these devices. It'll be delivered by the, uh, uh, by the telcos, they'll open it up and they'll say, here, Mr. Rayfield, here's your, your uh, new web-based device. It'll pop up, they'll have a great user interface. There's a rail launcher that'll have all the most recent applications that are loaded on it. And uh, this is, uh, this is the, the uh, CE6 kernel. It's a very robust kernel from Microsoft. It shipped you know, billions of copies. Um, so what they'll do is they'll pull up and they'll decide, okay, I want to go to a web page. So you pull up a web page, wherever you happen to be, local content, and you can go off and surf the web. And then finally for Flash, so this is, uh, what we'll show is, is an application called Flash Earth. So uh, I did a, uh, a briefing the other day with one of the technology analysts, and uh, he wanted to call my bluff on Flash. So he said, well, if you can really do Flash, pull up Flash Earth. So here we are, running again on one of our partner's devices, and we're, we're uh, zooming out of, to show where we are. Here we are in Taiwan, and we'll zoom back in. It's pretty fluid. Again, well under a lot. 